guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome make sure you hit the subscribe button in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys what i have spent this past week so let's get into it so every single week with my spending is obviously different so what we take from this week is not every week and sometimes i spend more money than this sometimes i spend less not every single bill comes in. Some bills came in, most of them didn't, obviously. Um, but yeah, we it's just a sneak peek into the last week of my bank's life. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into what I spent this week and why I spent what I spent. But uh, yeah, this was a pretty, I wouldn't say it was a quiet spending week. I definitely don't spend this month usually. But, you know, when those bills come in, you know, they come in. So this is, you know, average-ish, I guess you could say. So, yeah, take whatever it is with a grain of salt um, because I don't always spend this. Sometimes I spend more, sometimes less. You get the gist of it. Not every week is the same. So to kind of give you some context as to my spending, I'm a 25-year-old single person. Um... I live in my own house that I own with a mortgage and I drive a considerable distance to and from my jobs, plural jobs, and yeah, I'm very careful with the money I spend. So there's not a lot of frivolous spending in this. There never really is. But yeah, like as I say, like the week before this week that I'm telling you now, there was other bills. There was other expenses, those other purchases, and same with the following week. So yeah, let's jump into what I spent. So we're going to start with Sunday. The, I've got my notes here. Sunday, the 1st of March. I thought that was the perfect day to start this. Um, so I made two payments on that day. The first was first thing bright and early in the morning, my Bella Box payment came out. So that happens on the 1st of every month. Um, and that was 1995. Um, the next payment was menu log. <laughs> so I had ordered myself dinner because I was exhausted after work and could not be bothered cooking. Um, I don't really order food very often. Um, probably maybe once every couple of months. Probably only done it a handful of times in almost the year I've lived here. So I don't really do it very often. It's only if I'm that exhausted. Um, so I did get some Indian food and that was $20.40 because I needed to spend $20 for free shipping. <laughs> so I spent $20.40. <laughs> so the total for Sunday was $40.35. Day two. On Monday, the 2nd of March, I only paid for one thing and this is not something that I would usually do. I spent $239.88. Um, on twoislandsco.com. So that is collagen. So I have been, long story short, I'm losing hair and I really want to grow it back. And um, I've heard collagen is a good way to take care of your hair, skin and nails. And I was very tempted to buy Genora. Um, I've heard wonderful things about Genora from so many people. However, it's very expensive. I bought three months worth of collagen from Two Islands with a 20% off discount code. Um, so without the discount code, one month was going to be $99.95. Whereas Genora for one month was going to be $129.95. So, and that was probably, that was also without a discount. So I was thinking, okay, I'm going to find some discount codes. Genora discount codes were all 10%. Whereas Two Islands at 20% off of an even smaller monthly price to begin with. So that's why I went with them. Just because I don't know if this is going to work for me. So while I'm trying it out, I'd rather try a cheaper brand. Again, that's still expensive. That's 100 bucks a month. Or what, with the 20% off, that comes to, what, 80 bucks a month? But still, I wanted to try it. I wanted to commit to a few months. So I chose Two Islands instead of Genora. There you go. So the total spending for that day was just the $239.88 and good riddance because that's a lot of spending in one day. 
Day three. Tuesday the 3rd of March was also one payment and it was also a doozy. It was my house insurance. <laughs> um, that was $537. Again, I think that's for the year. So it's not a monthly payment, that's an annual payment. Um, if there are opportunities for annual payments, I always do it, whether it be insurance or um, registrations for cars, like car payments, like I do everything like like that. Like I'm not going to do it every month or every week or every, even every quarter. I'm going to do it. If there's an annual payment, I will do it. Like I don't not want to think about it. I don't, I paid this now. I don't have to think about it for another year. I know my contents insurance is coming up. So again, I'll have to think about that. But this house insurance, I paid it and I don't have to think about it for the next year. So I know other people prefer to make smaller payments more regular and that's what works for them. Personally, money is a big stressful part of my life and if I can just pay it and get it out of the way, I don't have to deal with it anymore, so I'd rather just do it that way. I know I could earn more money by holding onto it throughout the year and making small payments and putting it in my offset account or in my savings to earn interest. I know those are smarter options, but for my stress levels, I need to just get it out of the way. So that's just how I do it. Um, and that way I'm not going to spend money that I technically don't have because it was supposed to be saved for that bill. So once the bill is paid, I know I have what I have and I'm not supposed to put money aside for all these different things because it's already paid for. Day four. So on Wednesday, the 4th of March, I also only made one payment and that was $92.90 at Woolworths. Um, keeping in mind $50 of that was just cash out at the register. So I spent $42.90 technically because that cash was still in my hand. It was still mine. So that $42.90 at Woolworths was basically just getting basics. Like I needed some yogurt and I needed cheese and just things like that that weren't or any rice cakes I think as well. So like it wasn't proper stuff to make meals. It was just the basics and essentials that I needed in my fridge and cupboard um, just to get through daily life so um it wasn't a proper shop it was kind of just like a, an essentials top up um so yeah the total was technically 42.90 despite the 92.90 coming out of my bank because i had the 50 dollars cash out the following day thursday the 5th i made two payments that day um the first was my mortgage payment so that one was a whopping 380 dollars um has to happen happens every thursday is what it is the second is a fortnightly payment, um, and this I was actually using that $50 cash out that I had, but I paid $70, so $50 from the cash out I got the day before, and $20 that I already had in my purse um, was $70, and that went towards the cleaner. So I have a lovely lady come to my house every two weeks to clean. <laughs> um, I know that's gonna um, kick up a stink with some people. People are gonna have opinions about it, I, I deal with people's opinions about that a lot um but it is my choice I work hard for my money and I work every day like I have no time I'm always exhausted I'm working so hard just to pay for this house for my car for my life like I'm not stupid with my money and to treat myself I guess you could say I'm passing on the torch of cleaning like I don't leave my stuff lying around like she's not picking up after me she's not doing my laundry she's not cooking my meals she's not a maid she comes in for two hours a fortnight she vacuums she mops she cleans the bathroom wipes down the kitchen counter and the sink and like does what she's got to do so when i come home every second thursday i come home to a clean house and it's the best feeling in the world um I'm not going to continue justifying that payment because it is a necessity for me. I just don't have time to do it myself. If I had the time, I'd do it myself. Why not? But I don't. I don't have the time. So yes, the total for Thursday was $450. 24 hours later. Um, Friday the 6th of March, I only made one payment. Um, and this was at my work, so I did get 30% off. Um, I spent $7.70 on vitamin C supplements and that I bought that for my parents so it's not even for me seven dollars and seventy cents it doesn't matter um I love them to bits and they spend more than that on me so yeah um that was all I spent seven dollars seventy 
the next day. And on Saturday, the 7th of March, I made two payments. Um, first was 46.22, and that was for petrol. I literally filled up just before this week had started. So in a week, I would say I, did, I do fill up twice. Um, but in these seven days and the way it worked out, I happened to only fill up once in the seven days that I'm doing it. It's just I literally <laughs> let my car go to the very last possible drop of petrol because um, I was waiting for the prices to go down. So um, that was very necessary. Um, and then I also went to Woolworths and I spent fifty nine seventy five on groceries. That was a big shop for like a week and a half, probably could stretch it to two weeks of food. So that was like, you know, chicken and vegetables. Um, I think got some veggie patties, eggs, like um, just essentials I need to survive a couple of weeks. I don't usually go to the supermarket twice in one week, but you know, that's because I had used up so much stuff that I really needed to top up both essentials and the, you know, weekly fruit and veg and stuff like that. So um, Saturday came to 105.97. So yeah, that is all I spent in the past week. Um, I didn't spend, yesterday was Sunday the 8th and I didn't spend a single dollar. Today's Monday. I haven't spent anything either. So yeah, it's really different every week. <laughs> that was a pretty expensive week for me. Not going to lie, but yeah, I guess it kind of gives you an insight into the cost of living in the northern suburbs of South Australia um, and what, you know, someone my age is spending their money on. As you can see, it was mostly household bills, groceries, <laughs> petrol, um, one personal um, expense, um, something for somebody else. Like it wasn't like a lot of, um, I went and got like a $6 coffee and then I went and got cocktails and then it wasn't, ridiculous spending like I wasn't going out to eat or I ordered in once <laughs> like it wasn't a crazy amount of money but it is also a lot of money so yeah if this helps you in any way like or if you're ever just curious like I'm happy to do these more often if you want to know what I'm spending I'm not going to talk to you about how much money I'm bringing in that is personal <laughs> but uh yeah I hope you guys found this video interesting I mean, I've been watching these videos lately. I'm like curious, like, what is everyone else spending their money on? Let me just say, they're all spending stupidly. <laughs> like, they're just spending their money on ridiculous things. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.